like many other Mavic users, um, I've had some issues after a crash with uh, getting a gimbal overload error when starting a drone up. And like so many others, it turned out to be a damaged ribbon cable from the camera and gimbal setup which you should just be able to see there it's peeling away yeah just inside that corner there it's peeled away and um, what I'm gonna do in this video now is show you how to put the new cable back inside the gimbal because a lot of other videos um, basically just fast forward and don't show you how to get it in. I think that's probably the most difficult part of the reassembly is getting that uh, ribbon cable back in there without damaging it. So that is what I'm gonna do for you guys today. So what we're gonna do before we start the f most fiddly part of the process is first of all we'll take off this little bit of um, double sided tape here and just fold that back on itself turns out that double sided tape isn't that fantastic uh, but also on the other side of that section we need to take off this piece of sticky back tape so once we've done that uh, if you hold the ribbon so all the connectors are facing downwards and then pick up the gimbal, uh, gimbal assembly and what we're going to do here is we're going to feed this end through here like this feed that through and then we're going to pinch that together this is going to be slightly tricky due to the nature of the stickiness of, on the back and then we're going to slot that through so it's sat inside like that and we have that connector up there I'm going to push that in push it down slightly we might need to do a little bit of manipulation here because of the sticky on the back so that is now sat inside there and what we can do is we can connect this connector just to help us hold it in place slightly this is the most irritating thing I've possibly ever done in my entire life Anyone with sausage fingers is going to be pulling the hair out at this point. Well, finally, we have it clipped into place. Luckily, all my hair is still in place too. So I'm going to fold it like this and then feed it back through. Out to this side. So it's poking back out again. And now we need to connect this bit up. So we'll just put that in there. Oh, the joys of fiddly ribbon cables. Thank you, DJI, for making this such a common fault that most. Mavic Pro owners are going to have to do at some point. So now we're in. Thank God. So that's the trickiest part of the process completed. I think just fold all of this down into place now with the double sided tape. So as you can see, we've got one connector connected here, 
this section loops back around inside does a little loop at the back and then pokes through to come out here at the top I'm trying to be as detailed as possible here because this is this really is a pain especially if you didn't take photographs when you were taking the cable off so there we go first bit done so what we're going to do now is bring this around to the back of this connector and plug it in here into this back section so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to fold the cable just where that little white line is I'm going to fold it 90 degrees towards me so a bit of a fold in it there and now we've got that bend in it I'm going to bring it around bring it back around nope. slightly fiddly make sure that's firmly in place once that's in place there you need to smooth this up the little channel and then fold it <clears throat> now we're going to fold that back over on itself so it gets folded down push down there and it's moving nice and freely same as that what I'm gonna do uh, I don't know if you can see here but on yours you'll have a ridge that comes out on here I think this is one of the issues which the ribbon cable gets caught on when it's moving backward and forward so I'm just gonna secure this section here with an extra little bit of tape so it doesn't pop up and I've shaved off the ridge that usually sits on there so when it moves backward and forward it doesn't get caught and if the camera has a quick jerk it won't get caught on it either so that moves nice and freely now just how I want it I've got the tiniest bit of blue tape electrical tape I'm just going to put it onto here just to aid that section of the ribbon cable uh, to hold it in place because if this lifts up then you have the likelihood that it's gonna the cable will move will fold up to the side on its side like this and start rubbing against you know, this side of the gimbal so we really really don't want that because this cable is fragile as we all know so I'm happy with that now uh, I don't think I need to take this any further because it's pretty straightforward connecting this last bit. I just wanted to go through the more complex part of fitting the cable. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Amazing, and we're all fixed. Working? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. And 
damaged ribbon cable, as so many of us have had that trouble with. That was the problem. But we're all sorted now. Uh, hopefully no more crashes in the near future because I'm not really into that fiddly fixing. Alright, if you uh, like the video, subscribe, share and like. Cheers.